look at this next idea. So we've talked about volume of three different shapes. We've talked about volume of rectangular prism, triangular prism, and a pyramid. Now we're going to take a look at the surface area. So it's really a two-dimensional um, a two-dimensional measure of a three-dimensional shape. So think of it this way. The easiest way to kind of think about it is if you think about a, a building, a room, it's all the floors you're going to cover with something, all the parts of the wall you're going to cover. You're not going to fill the room with paint like volume. You won't fill it up like a cup. It's you're going to paint the walls one color. You're going to, paint, you're going to cover the floor with either wood or carpet, and you're going to paint your ceilings another color. The surface area is the measure of all of those spaces. So how much carpet would it take to cover that? How much paint would it do to, to do all the walls? That's where you get surface area from. So it's a three-dimensional, sorry, it's a two-dimensional measure of a three-dimensional shape, okay? Or if you think about when you cut an Amazon box in part, like kind of like this picture down here, if you cut a box apart, it's what you'd flatten the box out to be. How much, how much cardboard would it take to, to make that box? So we're going to kind of take a look at that today. Let me jump past that one and talk again what surface area is. And that's kind of what I spent a bit of the time talking about. It's a measure of the total area the surface of the object occupies. So that's that idea like we were talking about just a moment ago. That's what surface area is. And we're going to find that for the same three shapes, three three-dimensional shapes we found earlier. A rectangular prism, a triangular prism, and a, uh, a, tri uh, sorry, a pyramid. Two of them use the exact same formulas. The third one is a little different um, just because, and you can probably guess that's probably the pyramid is a little different because even the formula for, air, for volume is a little different. So let's take a look. Here's the, there are two formulas that really work. That's first formula, surface area equals 2LH plus 2LW plus 2HW is kind of a derivative off the length times width times height formula. Um, it works, it's great if you're really comfortable with length width height. Uh, you basically put all the combinations you can together into one set and you find those each the surface area of each of those spaces. Um, or we have the surface area equals two times the base of the area of the base plus the perimeter times the height. And that one's really easy to see when we have the net like this. If I find the perimeter of this outer shape here, I'll, I'll outline it in a color so you can see a little better. If I find the perimeter of this times the height, That'll give me the area of that entire shape. Okay? So that line right there, perimeter of this right here, times the height. And it'll give me just all those pieces. So it finds the, sorry, let me change that out a little bit. It's not really the perimeter of that entire shape, it's the perimeter. Let me erase all this real fast and I'll re redraw it so it makes more sense. Um, it's really the perimeter of the base. It's this right here. Because this is the same as this. So times the height gives me everything two times the bases plus the perimeter of the base times the height. And that'll give me all this information I need. So let's take a look as we work through one of these. So let's use the original formula, the 2LH plus 2LW plus HW formula first. Um, great basic formula. I've even got the net of a broken out shape here. So we're really going to find if we have, we'll call this length, we'll call this width, we'll call that height. We name all three of them just so we constantly get it. Two of them, because you'll notice there's one of each shape, if each color shape, two of each color shape. So two times seven times six. Two times seven times eight. Plus two times eight times six. And that's just putting this into your calculator. 42 times 2 is uh, 84. 56 times 2 is 112. 48 times 2 is 96. And then just coming into your calculator and going, okay, 84 plus 96, uh, that's 180. 180 plus 112 is 292. So 292, and this is where we're going to say meters squared. Since I only ever multiply two pieces, I'm only going to get meters squared in this case. Okay, your turn to give this one a try. So slightly different shape, rectangle, slightly different sizes. Go ahead and using that 2LH plus 2LW plus 2HW formula, find the answer. Pause the video and then when you're ready, we'll go through the answers. All right, now let's take a look at it. So our surface area, 
two times, we'll call this length, width, and height. It, those are all different numbers as long as you have all three different numbers represented. It. Five times six plus two times six times eight plus two times five times eight. So all together you get 60 here, together you get 96 here, together you get 80 here. So add it all together, I got 236, this time feet squared. All right, now let's take a look at the other formula, okay? Let's take a look at this formula. So this one stands for two times the area of the base plus the perimeter of the base times the height. So I'm gonna pull this in and I'm gonna say, here's my base. This is my base right here because it's got two measures. I can pick any shape as the base, it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna pick this bottom. This is my height, okay? So now that I've got those two labeled, I'm gonna go, okay, two times the area of the base. So surface area is equal to two times four times seven. Okay, my perimeter, I can do this in my head, so I'm not gonna worry about writing it out. Seven plus seven is 14. 18, 22 times five. And if I go through this, 28 times two is 56, plus 22 times five is 110. This is 166 feet squared, sorry, square feet, okay? And you can use the other formula as well. If you just, I'll show it to you real quick and do two times four times seven, plus two times five times seven, plus two, two times five times four, you get 40 here, you get 70 here, you get your 56 here. And you'll notice these two together equal that shape right there. So we know it's that same 166 square feet. Okay, go ahead using that perimeter equals two times the base, perimeter times height, two area of the base plus perimeter times height. Go ahead and think about which one you're gonna label as your perimeter and go from there or your base. Okay, pause the video and see what you come up with. All right, so let's take this together. Let's put it in to the surface area. So let's take out that two. Surface area equals two. I'm gonna call this my base right here. So 1.4, the area of that base. So 1.4 times 3.5. Sorry, almost typed it wrong. I get four and nine, so 4.9, plus the perimeter, so three and a half plus three and a half is seven. Two and seven, so 9.8, nine and eight tenths, times four and one tenth. So let's put that in. So this is nine and eight tenths, and then 9.8 times four and one tenth gives me 40, and 118, 18,000, hundred, sorry, plus nine and eight tenths gives me a total area of 49 and 98 hundred centimeters squared. All right, it's your turn to figure out the surface area of this prism. All right, pause the video and see what you come up with as your answers. All right, so once again, I'm gonna label this base, this height. I like this formula better personally. So two times 42, it's a quick one I can do real quick in my head. The perimeter is seven plus seven, it's 14. Six plus six is 12, so 26 this time, times four and eight tenths. I'm just gonna type it in my calculator. That first one is 84. 26 times four and eight tenths is 124, 124 and 8 tenths. Add 84 to that, I get a 208 and 8 tenths centimeters squared for my surface area of that shape. All right, so we've got a last one. Go ahead, I'd like you to try this one. Either formula you want, it's all yours. Give it a shot and then we'll try, then we'll try looking at a word problem. This time I'm gonna label this back piece the base and this my height. So two, just because this is really easy to find my math on, two times 50. So my surface area is equal to two times 50 plus my perimeter, which is 30. 
times my height. This is just easy math for me to do 100 plus 240 equals 340 meters, square meters. Okay. All right, now let's take a look at a word problem. Our geode is sent as a gift, it means it has to be packed in a box. It measures seven, the box measures seven inches long, four inches, three inches wide, 16 inches tall. And again, what is my surface area? How, and I'm really what I'm asking is how much cardboard do I need to make this box? Um, so either formula, if you're gonna do the surface area 2L plus 2W, let's do that one first, two times seven times three, plus two times three times 16 plus two times seven times 16. And this one I find just to be a lot of work. So 42, this is 48, that makes 96. Sorry, not 98, 96. And that's 14 times 16. Don't know what off the top of my head. 224 plus 42 plus 96. I get 362, not 326, 362 inches, square inches. Now if I do my other formula, I'll check a different color real quick. We'll do green on this one. Two times big B. We'll call this big B right here. We'll call this, this our base. That's our height because it kind of has tall. So two times 21 plus the perimeter, seven plus seven is 14 plus that is 20. 20 times 16. So again, I get 42. 42 plus 320 equals 362 square inches. So same answer must be right. All right. It is your turn to try to figure out how much this scooter service area, the scooter box will take. Pause the video and then see what you come up with. All right. Now let's take a look at it again. We can do it either formula. We'll start this time with the two big B plus perimeter times height. Okay. So let's say these are my perimeter. These are my this, this is my height because it again has tall. So 2 times 28 times 13 is 364 plus my perimeter. So 28 plus 28, that's 56. 56 plus 26 gives me a perimeter of 82 and 82 times 26. So let's put this into our calculator. 2 times 364 gives me 728. Write that again, 728. 82 times 26 gives me 2,132. So add those together, I get a total of 2,860 uh, square inches to make this box. And if I use my other formula, I'm gonna get the exact same answer. So I'm not gonna bother showing out both pieces, but it does work. So if you have questions, feel free to reach out. I'd be happy to help you work through any questions you have. Have a great day.